I did do some speed. That is stupid. Now what? And I know I should be... Elon Musk. Tickles his toes with a sledgehammer. And then it squeals. I need an escape in my life. I just want to play Fortnite for a little bit. Buongiorno, Severus snape You're looking very... Severus-y today. And that is stupid because I've actually got a pretty big mental battle going on in my mind right now. I, I want to put it down on the whiteboard when I get home to try and figure out what it is. But I'm very interested to know, not because it's like going to change anything about how I feel or how I do things, but do you have mental battles that you like have in your head, like where you you second guess yourself or you question if you're doing the right thing, doing it the right way, or if you should be doing it differently and the implications of doing it a certain way. I have that all the time. And I would say on one part, it makes me be better at whatever it is I'm doing. And then on you know the other side, never quite comfortable with exactly what I'm doing. You know, like always questioning it. Um, it's essentially, I saw this topic this morning of ADHD masking, like the, the idea of masking your true identity because you know it doesn't conform, you know it's not what people want. And I think the easiest instance of seeing that in me is the pauses that I have when I talk. I think, when I watch my videos back, I think they're so disruptive. But it's actually just my mind trying to figure out which words to use to explain the way I'm thinking. I don't know what it is. I used to, like, I'll have to check back at previous videos when I used to vlog, but I'm pretty sure I used to be a lot more fluid in the way I thought. I'm gonna go back to some of my daily vlogs from 2015, 2016. And we'll see how I speak in those because I don't think I ever used to speak with all these pauses. But the, the thing that's come out of this is, uh, I have a choice to make. Do I try and speak more fluidly for what reason? Or do I accept the fact that this is how my mind works and this is the way I speak? This is the way I communicate because I have to think through my wording. Now you would say from a, let's say a society perspective that it's better to speak more fluid, fluidly. Right, because that's, it, it's easier for people to follow along the conversation. But then on the other hand, look at someone like Elon Musk. He does not speak fluidly at all. There are lots of breaks in what he's saying. There's long pauses, there's stuttering. I actually think he's a horrible person to listen to communicate. I find it very difficult to follow what he's saying. And, but, you look at him and you'd say, oh, well, yeah, he's... You still listen, you still hang on to every word he has to say, don't you? I'm not comparing myself to him because I would lose a hundred times out of a hundred. <laughs> um, there's much more that goes through his brain. But this idea that, I think doing these vlogs has really helped me figure out a bit more of who I am as a, as a real person. I mentioned it in a previous video, but there was one video I made for YouTube, uh, where it's 24 hours in noise cancellation. And I, I don't know what made me do it this way, but I just kind of... It was, it was a very communicative style of video. And I remember editing it, watching it back, and I was thinking, my gosh, this is, this is so cringe. And I have mentioned this before, but I, I then went and showed it to my wife. 
And the question I had for her was, is this me? Is this what I'm like? And she said, yeah, like, yeah, that's you more than any other video you've done. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I was so cringe. The things that I would say, the way I would think. And... I don't know where... I think for those... Like, all my life, I've been trying to uh, be a person that, uh, that was, that was normal in society. And this isn't me looking back thinking, oh, you idiot, you plonker, look what you've done. It was, I was, I think I was just trying to fit in. I was trying to be the normal for everyone else. And I wasn't accepting, I, I wasn't truly comfortable in who I am and the problems I have. I think a very big part of this came from the fact that I was making these tutorials on YouTube and everything had to be perfect. Like the cuts, the zooming, the way I spoke, it all had to be perfect because it was built around the idea that if, if it's not clear and it's not concise, people are gonna leave. And I thought I had to be perfect, even from a self perspective of, I needed to show that I was getting everything done that I said I would get done. I needed to be doing things perfectly on time. I needed to, I needed to be this person that woke up early, that had a good sleep schedule. You know, like one of these motivational type people you see online. And that isn't me. Like, one of the things that I think is very apparent here is I would like to do, what was that? T t t microphone case. I would like to do a daily planner every night so that it's ready for the next day. But most nights, I can't be asked to do that. Like most, and the reason why is because I think that's a waste of time. Uh, I, I should stop this before I get home, so we don't know where I live. I'll see you inside and carry on. <laughs> when I say <clears throat> doing my daily planner is a waste of time, what I mean is I don't see any immediate benefit out of doing it. Now I understand that that's the wrong way of thinking because um, let's, if we think about this in the perspective of stocks, right? The, uh, what's the best way I can do this? High risk, I don't know, stocks. High risk stocks equal high return. Low risk equals low return. So, um, if I if if we think about this, is immediate, and this is future. So this is something that you plug away at every single day over a long period of time. It doesn't have to be every day, but you plug away at it over a long period of time. Like let's say this YouTube channel, there's no immediate return but you know that over a period of time, the return is gonna come. But this, this low risk stuff, so doing the daily planner, uh, in my head, I could spend 10 minutes doing the daily planner, but I get, I don't really get anything back from it. Like I don't see, I don't see how that really helps me the next day. Whereas something like making a TikTok in one day, I get to post it and I get to see the views come in and I get that immediate feedback loop. And so my problem is changing my thinking from this like immediate low risk stuff and trying to position myself into the longer term, high ri higher risk.
items. So like I might spend the time now and not get anything back for it, but in the future, the return will be tenfold, right? Does that make sense? All right, so what the battle that I have going on right now that I mentioned at the beginning here is, I love making videos, right? Okay, so I love making videos and the goal of making videos is uh, like the enjoyment is already there in the process. So what am I expecting to get out of it? Let, let's just say enjoyment, money, and branding. Now, why do I say branding? Because if we're not focused on branding, then we're just creating one video and then you're done. And not that I want to be relevant as such, but it's irrelevant, like it's one and done, doesn't matter. What you really want is for people to be able to see your face, like I wanna watch that because I love his stuff, I love what he does. The same way that you want to repurchase Nike or Adidas stuff because you love what they do. Okay, same thing. So number one, I love making videos. And then I think about, uh, I guess one of the other ones here is views. Now a huge aspect to making these videos for me is that views comes as a result. So it means that I need to make a video that people really enjoy, that hits the most amount of people, that gives the most amount of enjoyment to the most amount of people. Now the thing I'm fighting about with that is do I go for this, you know, that, that hook which is very in your face, which is I tried this and this is what happened which I know is gonna get more views in the short term, but you then have this constant battle of like, what if you just did it this style? Like just told the story in this style. We still keep the whole story format, but it's much more relaxed. Uh, we have these like s slow pauses in there um, and it's more me style. But the problem is, is that I'm essentially then starting off from scratch to build up that brand again. So like, let's just say right now, when people see my face in a video on TikTok, they know what to expect. And so from that, they can choose whether they want to continue watching the video or not. But if I change up my style, you're starting from square one again and you're having to find your fit, you're having to find the place where people enjoy watching that content. Now I'm, the battle is, which do I do? Do I, do I go the way that works? Or do I go to a style that fits more of me? I do think there's a happy hybrid, which is like the video I did yesterday. <coughs> Come on, dude, in. Which is a happy medium. And I think if I'm going to adapt, it's a slow adaptation. Like overarching, I know I love making these videos. Now for a perfect day to me would be coming up with the concept, whatever idea is I want to do, the planning of it, going and shooting, and then just editing it whatever way I want to edit it. Whatever seems fun to me. That would be the goal. But honestly, I only see that being a successful goal in terms of I make this video, put it online, and the video doing well. I only see that being successful if people have like, what's the, term, I don't know if the right term is, bought into me through these videos. So like if you if you like my personality or like the way I think, the way I do things, then you're more likely to be more engaged in one of my videos because I don't know if it feels like you're watching a friend, but 
you've seen the behind the scenes process, you know the person, you, you feel like you get a better idea of the person behind the video. And that kind of leads back into why I say, when you see crappy TikToks or short form content that do millions of views, but they do millions of views because the first one the person has grown a, we'll call it fan base, or yeah, let's just call it fan base on a platform like long form YouTube or Twitch, where people feel like they know who the person is, they're invested in what they're doing. Yeah, that's just one of my battles. And I know I should be digging in to some of the other things I have listed out, but I kind of, I just want to play Fortnite for a little bit. Just get my mind off of it. Not like as an escape, or maybe it is an escape. See, that's something where I feel like saying it's an escape is a bad thing and I shouldn't say that in a video. I shouldn't say that for someone because that's an, impres an impressionable thing for someone to take that out of context and be like, I need an escape in my life. Whereas like for me, it's a very short term, it's like an hour escape into this and then I can clear out whatever thoughts I have and get back into doing it again. All right, two other thoughts. You remember I tried, made some slight changes to the socials automations yesterday and saw some success. Let me... I think we had the first video on TikTok. Here we go. I've been in call. 1,000. So I put a video of. I've been in corporate America long enough. So it's Kai, uh, just a video of Kai Sanat reacting over the top of whatever I'm saying. And then the title of the thing I'm talking about. The Oh, I didn't mean to like it. The view like the, the likes ratio is not great but 1475 views is six times the most of any previous video so i would say that's a pretty good that's a pretty good immediate response of that i should do more like that i had this other idea this morning that goes along with these ones i take a video of like I don't know, a Cristiano Ronaldo interview, I find an AI voice changer that uses his voice and then I do it as though he is commentating or like making his comments on one of my videos. Like I could do that for so many different celebrities. I feel like that is quite, quite a good idea. Also, I think TikTok is in, in a rut. It's definitely in a rut. For my content and this happens every three months or so and so while I might while I will be making TikToks I just won't be posting them for a couple of weeks until TikTok gets out of this rut because nothing I can do about it and I mean that really from a perspective of can I control it no like I've tried I've posted four videos now that I've just done terribly so I just have to wait that out and I can work on other things, which is a nice excuse to stop thinking in this mindset of quick, you've got to post another video into let's strategize about some other things that I want to. I had a look at getting some beanie samples made last night. $40 to get an embroidered logo on the hat and then another $40 for shipping, which I guess Shipping is it arrives in like five days from China. But a forty dollar hat is a lot. But I might I might do it because I I would like some beanies with my logo on. I just won't do the bulk order yet. It depends if, you know, this goes anywhere. People like them. Alright, I'm gonna play some forty Ds for a bit and then well, whatever I decide to do next, you'll see. You'll see right now, won't you? <laughs> yes. What's the protocol on a dog that's an idiot on calling it a retard? 
Like I know a human is probably uh, insensitive, but this thing, it just, watch it. It just doesn't stop and then it squeals. Lila, come here. Let's go, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now what? Come on. Dude, what are you? I think even if you thought retard was insensitive, you would use it. <laughs> uh, so some of the things I worked on today. Uh, she's pooping, oh my gosh. All right, so one of the, actually, the reason I haven't just waited to record this is because I'm on a mission with this dog. We've been looking after it for about two, three months now, and I walk it twice a day. Come on, dude. And it still has not learned to walk on a leash properly. So my plan, like she's just she's just way too hyper, but she knackers herself out. by So by the end of the walk, I'm hoping that she's tired enough that at that point, I can start in, uh, incentivizing her with treats and things. So I'm just kind of going to let you know how this goes as I continue to do it. And hopefully she learns because we're going to have to look after her for the next couple of months as well. And it's a pain in the ass. Okay, so yesterday I mentioned that I would try, or I think I mentioned it earlier today, that putting like famous streamers at the top of the videos, excuse me, and the Kai Sinat ones did like 2K across each of the three TikTok uh, accounts, which was, which is a huge increase. And so it obviously shows that that was helpful because again, the goal here is exposure, not too much else. So then today I started diving down this rabbit hole of getting like Cristiano Ronaldo's AI voice and which then got me down the rabbit hole of like using Donald Trump and Jackie Chan and a bunch of others, other famous people. We just have like silly quotes from them. Like I think the one I had from Cristiano Ronaldo. Why are you guys all tied up? I wrote the text as if, you know, in his broken English. Lila, come on, do that. In his broken English, and then had a translator do it. So it's something like, uh, after hard game, I get home, put on TV. Oh, one second. Well, I won't be making a video walking the dogs again. Duda is, she's normally really well behaved, but this idiot dog makes Duda act up. Uh, and it's some stupid sentence, like when he gets home, he turns on YouTube on the TV and sits with his feet up watching my pod vlogs and tickles his toes with a sledgehammer. Just something stupid, but it was in broken English. But these sites are pretty expensive. It's like... I think it was like 9.99 a month, but that only allows you to translate like 300 characters, which is not very much. So I'll, I'll, I might do some re more research into that one because I thought it was quite cool. Or I just take an interview, chop up parts of it. So, you know, to make it sound like uh, it's a pretty generic sentence of, how you doing? Uh, I love watching YouTube and then, you know, make it about my video somehow. But I did do some speed. I took, <laughs> I did do some speed. Dude, everyone is out tonight. Lila, do that over here. Uh, I show speed. I took one of his videos reacting to GTA 6 and cut up portions of it to go on my video. Lila. Lila, like reacting to uh, my content, like my intro and some of the things that I was saying. I thought it worked pretty well, but just listening, I've never been on one of his streams. I've never seen like a full clip of his. And it's like ADHD on steroids. The number of times he repeats himself, it's like his brain is, can't cope, isn't fast enough to deal with what he's saying, I don't know. 
but we'll see how those do. I thought they were kind of funny. Uh, I'll play them. I'll play them right now. Say good night, and now it's time for me to try and teach this thing. Now that it's a bit, a bit more tired. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. I would like. I don't want you seeing the outline of my. Well, if there is even an outline of my crotch. Ass, bro. I love this, so bro. I oh, wait, I know I've seen this already, but the ass. I don't want to do this, bro. Fuck it for the last. Part. This is. I hate oh, the way this comes across. It's like I wanked off Casper. Wow, I like that lot. No idea is too stupid. Ignore it. That will come in the future for sure. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's the stitching all gone. I don't want to be rude because there's probably some child in China that's made this and he's quite proud of his work. And I've just destroyed it just trying to set it up. You know, like you see or you hear parents saying, oh, life is amazing with a child. And you kind of, before you have kids, you look at it and you think, oh gosh, here we go again. You kind of have to say that because you already have the kid. But no, like... It's so, it's so cool watching them do things, watching them learn. <laughs> okay, here's the instructions, ready? After completing the steps of adding water and connecting the sweat box, it can be powered on for use. That is the sweat box, I'm gonna assume. I've been in corporate America long enough to know that people will cover their own ass and make themselves look better before being honest, which sucks.